Good morning and welcome back to White Mountains Today here on White Mountain TV 16. And joining us right here is Chrissy Frazier from the Mount Washington Observatory. How are you, Chrissy? I'm, I'm so excited to be back. In person. Yeah. I know. It's been a couple of years <laughs> since, so uh, since we've been chatting. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, so exciting big doings with uh, Seek the Peak. But I'm gonna, we're going to get to that in just a sec. Okay. So how's things at the observatory? I mean. Oh, amazing. I mean, just fast and furious. Yeah, as you know, with the Weather Discovery Center um, closure, we've moved a lot of those exhibits to other locations. Right. So McAuliffe Shepherd um, Museum has several of those exhibits. And then we've moved, we're moving some to the Vista, the Scenic Vista uh, soon here. Oh, down in the uh, the right across information from, booth. Yeah, right across yeah. from Trails End. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's great. That yeah. what that's a perfect addition for it. Right. Because you can kind of do it and look in Mount Washington. Exactly. That's a great tie-in. Yeah. I'm really glad to hear yeah. that. Yeah. So we're trying to you know keep that moving. And um, in the meantime, we've temporarily moved out of the Weather Discovery Center upstairs building where the administration office is. Yeah. Temporarily um, lo located to uh, to Echo Group where so that they can move the library that we had downstairs. Uh, up to the upstairs and incorporate it into our office space. So, oh, cool. Because we have a really like amazing Gladys uh, Brooks Memorial Library that right. isn't as right. well known, but it has incredible materials from the history of the mountain. So yeah, well, I'm glad that the, you know those the elements of the uh, Weather Discovery Center went places, and the boys were like, "What do you mean it's going?" I but know. but still being able to go and experience them. Uh, is great. Yeah, and Extreme Mount Washington is still and extreme, yeah. up and running fast and furious. The guys, are, the observers are still 24/7 on the summit. Um, we just we just kind of wrapped up with the, when everything went virtual. We introduced a virtual classroom that was hugely successful to help sort of it, to help sort of contribute to the need for teachers looking for virtual um, content. So we did uh, every week we were doing a virtual classroom from the summit, which was really amazing and. Uh, with, with the Conway L, the, their school watched every week, and they asked over, like the kids asked over a hundred questions. It was really, it was really amazing to see people from all over the country really participate. That's great. Um, and we're still, we have a now science in the mountains, which we've always offered. Generally, right. it was a summer event. We do now um, every once a month, every uh, on a Tuesday evening, and it's virtual. And yeah. so that's been really cool because when we would do it live, you know, we'd see forty to fifty people that were in the community, but now we're getting three and four hundred people from all over. And so it really helps. In some ways it sort of really opened the the opportunity for people. So yeah. that's been that's been really exciting. So it, it's great. Well it's always so fun, you know, when I travel different places and you know, well, where are you from? You know, and I'm like, you know, I Mount Washington Valley, and we're right near, you know, because a lot of people know of Mount Washington. Of course, yeah. They know where it is, they know through the observatory and and just getting the word out. So it's kind of it's a great little, you know, place marker, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's, even with the Weather Discovery Center, so many people didn't realize that that, that was a, an extension, an educational extension of the work that these guys are doing on the summit. Right. Um, you know, the, the forecasting, they do the 48-hour forecast, which is instrumental to this, the outdoor community. Absolutely. And, every, you know, all the attractions in this area. And then certainly the, uh, we have like one of the longest continuous da data sets. It's almost 90 years of data, uh, hourly observation in a kind of a, a pretty remote, out, you know, location. So that's really instrumental in climate research. Um, and it's used in all kinds of different educational offerings that we provide. So it's a uh, it's it's pretty amazing the work that's been done up there for so long and, yeah. and the history is really is remarkable so well, we were talking to jackie earlier and she was talking about uh kind of looking up the haze charts of you know when uh. when all of them were born <laughs> you know and and uh i thought that was that's a cool thing i'm a, kind of a geek with those the, uh. those charts um because it's a visual you know right. it's you know it's the old days of you know and it's the, so cool when yeah. the weather is crazy i haven't like, yeah yeah jackie's probably pretty fired up up there because yeah. she, she's been doing amazing with her live programs and stuff yeah it's great yeah, yeah. we love having them live here on yeah on uh, White oh that's today. right yeah. now doing it that's awesome yeah yeah it's been great very cool so let's talk about seek the peak so that's coming up july 16th and 17th yep. Yep. and uh a lot of a lot of things going on. It's not just a. Yeah. It's not just a here. Have a you know. Have a popsicle and I, go to the <laughs> summit. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of things going on. Yeah, I mean, so we last year was the 20th anniversary. So it was you know very disappointing that we, it had to go virtual. But that, like as a, so many things. But um, so in the process of that, uh, we as and also this community starting to see a massive influx of people really utilizing the outdoors in so many Absolutely. different ways but not really having the full education and resources available to them to really do it properly and safely and responsibly. So um, there was just, a, in this in the community alone, between the nonprofits and just the outdoor recreational organizations, there was sort of this like, you know, we, we really need to come together and find a way to sort of 
create a platform where we can uh, provide education and an opportunity to bring all these people together. Right. So, so it's something that we had kind of talked about for years and in different ways to sort of expand Seek the Peak because it's, it's a critical fundraiser for the observatory. Mm. And so um, the, hike, the hiking component's always been the, the core of it and will continue to be a, the core of it. And especially hopefully next year when um, things hopefully open up a little bit more, we'll be able to offer the weather room tours again. Right This year we're not able to offer the weather room tours on the summit. Right. But um, that was always sort of like this, this nugget to like get people to the summit and then they get this amazing weather room tour and they get up into the tower and things like that. So um, this year we're not able to do that, but it, that, that going hopefully in the future again. But in the meantime, you know, in working with all these different, our, with Great Glen Trails, with, you know, Granite Outdoor Alliance, with, um, with so, I mean, so many, Hub, Hub North, there's so many different um, entities that, that wanted to sort of say, that, like the guide schools in this community, and like how can we all come together and, 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 and create like an opportunity for everyone to come to the community, talk to the experts, experience a couple of these things with a, with a guide on a, on a more introductory level if they're interested. Yeah. Or say, hey, go do what you want. Go do the most extreme thing that you do, however you want to do it. But at the end of the day, it's about supporting the Mount Washington Observatory then coming to this this uh, it, it adventure, this expo that we're going to be hosting at the base of the Mount Washington Auto Road at Great Glen Trails. And there'll be 30-plus outdoor experts um, or, like, vendors. There's vendors and there's several nonprofits in the area. Over time, we hope to sort of even expand on that. And just right. really... Um, you know, so for example, like New Hampshire Outdoor Council will be there, protect our winters, um, AMC, who's been involved for years. Um, we're, we're just thrilled to have, and, and, and several more. And then um, our sponsors, our Eastern Mountain Sports and Oboes will have, you know, their rep representatives there and their guide schools and, um, you know, Smartwell, Garmin, Codapax. It just, it's, it's amazing. And there and so many people, they're so excited because they want to come together and they want to be a part of this sort of next step of, of really getting people out into the outdoors recreating safely. Yeah, and I think that's just so important. You know, the safety obviously you know, has always been a, you know, a big factor, you know, in the White Mountains, but I think also the responsibility. And that's, a, you know, really came to light last year right. with, you know, going out, enjoying it, you know, staying, you know, on the trails where you're supposed to be and, and carry it, you know, carry out what you carry in and all those other factors because that is, that is the big picture so that everybody can enjoy it. And uh, what a neat way for everybody to kind of mingle around. Uh, and if you can educate some people, that's, yeah. that's great. And hike safe and preparedness. Right. And like there's, there's so many resources for people. And so we, you know, we want to make sure people understand that they're there. Um, and so, you know, again, for us, it's we, if people want to just come out and kind of get a feel for what this is all about, they should join us on that 17th. Right. From, you know, it's 12 to 7 that afternoon. But on a bigger picture, we'd love to see people register on seekthepeak.org, um, raise funds for the observatory. We because of the generosity of our sponsors, we we reward um, participants significantly. I was just looking at that. It's yeah, a, it's quite awesome. A, quite a it's bunch a, of quite stuff. a list. So like, you know, right away at two hundred dollars, you get this amazing pack that Cotopaxi and Eastern Mountain Sports collaborate to to provide us. Um, and then we, you know, and it gets you entry into the expo. But then at three hundred dollars, you get with well, a Seek the Peak T-shirt with this new with this logo, which I is love a the new super logo. fun yeah, logo. Cool. My friend did all these little icons, and um, you know, and you get a fifteen dollar food voucher for that day because we'll have food trucks on site so people can mingle around. We'll have Kimberly's uh, Gluten Free Kitchen. We have the Tin Can Company, and then Crescent City Kitchen. So that's sort of fun for everybody to yeah. just have pick their choice. Um, and we'll have live music throughout the day, um, but. Yeah, I mean the fundraising component. There's so many prizes. Like this, actually, if you raise a thousand, you get this hat. But it's in addition to you get a another long sleeve Seek the Peak T-shirt, and uh, there's a prior to that you get smart wool socks. You get a, a cool w uh, water bottle that has the topo map of of Mount Washington oh, on nice, it, yeah. and with Mount Washington Observatory Seek the Peak. There's, it's just a look at go to the website, check out the prize page, and say like, and you get into a drawing for thousands of dollars of amazing yeah. stuff. And the stuff is all, you know, built upon that. So yeah, the more you the more you do, the more you get. Yeah, the more you earn, you go home with the bundle. You'll fill yeah. this pack up, you know, and um, and also at you know, at the vendor booths, almost all the vendors are doing some type of a special um, raffle or um, giveaway type of thing. And like even this year we're we're incorporating we have a fly fishing group coming and oh, they'll fun. be doing some fly fishing demonstrations and they're giving away a rod set. Um, both at the $300 level, you'll get into a drawing for that, but then also at their booth, 
if you go watch the fly fishing demonstration, you get into a raffle, that type of thing. Like all the, if uh, I protect our winters, if you, um, if you if you do if you go to their booth, they're going to encourage you to do like a call to action to the state about ways to help protect the win- our winters. Yeah. And if you do that call to action, then they'll include you in a raffle for like a bigger item. Um, Garmin will be there with doing demonstrations on how to utilize an in-reach device. Again, like another you know safety device to yeah. be when you're in the back country, and they'll be raffling off that. And we also have that in our in our prize pool. So it's just it's. There's so much. I mean, it's 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 massive when you look at it all. Right. It's a lot to think about, but it's really like the energy in there behind it is awesome. The the we're we're so psyched, but we just we're really you know at the end of the day again, it's critical fundraiser for us. So any support right. is you know, really so, important. Yeah, you know, like as you say, all the great things that the participants get. But it also is raising funds for the Mount Washington Observatory. Yep. So even if people didn't get the stuff. I think the fact that they're supporting the Mount Washington Observatory is what's is what's so important. Right, right. And in the Expo Day, it's a there's a ten dollar entry fee if you're not a Seek the Peak participant. And yep. then, but the observatory, the observers, the staff will be down there, so you can learn more from them. You can go to our booth and um, but come and hear the music. We have Shark Martin, we have uh, the Mountain Beer Band, and um, Roy Prescott will be there emceeing with uh, right? yeah from the radio station from um, WMWV, and so. Just lots going on. So, and it's very easy to find out information. Go on to the Mount Washington Observatory website, and there's a link right to Seek the Peak, and there's yep. also a separate Seek the Peak website, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. So you can go to you can go to mountwashingtonobservatory.org and and then link to seekthepeak.org, or just go directly to seekthepeak.org and register there. But also on mountwashington.org, you know, if you're going out into the outdoors, use our forecasts. You know, they're 48 hour forecasts. You know, it could be 70 degrees down here and you know, 70 mile per hour winds and 30 degrees on the summit. Oh, absolutely. So, you know, hopefully, you know, we can encourage people to know that that's, val- uh, you know, a valuable resource for them and, and hope people use that. So. Absolutely. Well, we look forward to uh, to finding out more as uh, you get a little bit closer. And, of course, we're going to give away the uh, backpack at the end of the program today. And uh, so, Christy, thanks so much for coming by. Yeah, it's great and, to be back. Uh, I'm so. sure we'll be talking with you soon. Yeah, thanks, Rob. Nice to see you. And we're back here in a minute on White Mountains Today.